All right, I'm gonna go over this today. Not really much to say. Uh, I picked up a, a Sony Wega LCD screen TV. This is the KLV 21 SG2. I believe I might have the model number on. I got it used. They actually kept on using the Wega name when they made some of these earlier flat screens before Bravia. It's not considered a Trinitron at all. Trinitron is strictly a CRT. So, luckily, it still uses the same frequency as pretty much every other Sony TV. This one has a memory stick function included. I don't have a memory stick ready to show you, but there it is. You can view your stuff. It's kind of an outdated thing. I don't know anybody that would need that anymore. It's more than one video input. You can see it's working fine. I don't have the manual or any of the remotes that came with it. What's kind of nice that I like is uh, when you switch over, if there's nothing hooked up to the coaxial, it will automatically mute the static sound. All right, let's take a look back. Huh. Ah, that's where it was. I didn't know about this at all when I first got it. Semi-hidden. S video. I believe this is uh, input one. Now it's input two, I'm sorry. Headphone jack. The composite doesn't look too good on this because it is uh, an LCD. There's audio input. This is the component end. All the component ports. There's the audio out, I'm sorry. Component. Audio in for component. It has a thing so you can mount it somewhere. I don't have any mount besides this. Probably not gonna bother. This is more for preservation reasons. Control thing. There's the uh, memory stick port. UHF slash VHF. Coaxial cable. Probably for more layman's terms. Then video one does also have S video. And composite. There you go. The KLV 21 SG2. I'm not sure I would really recommend this model though, because it doesn't have any of the retro gaming benefits that CRTs have, and it uh, they will have some of the same issues that like any LCD would have, where if you look at it at certain angles, the video is either really white or dark. I almost forgot that this does support 720p. A lot of people don't know, but component ports can do HD, so it can do 720p, and I forget if this model does 1080i, I'll have to check a manual online. I take back that one thing I said, the S-Video looks pretty good.